BBC World News, your daily briefing on business and economics from the world's financial centres. From New Broadcasting House in London, World Business Report. Now, it could change the way we buy books forever. Netflix did it for movies, Spotify did it for music, and now Amazon is set to detail a book subscription service when it unveils quarterly earnings later. Could it spell the end? of the bookshelf as we know it. Well, Jamie Gavin is Managing Director of the digital publishing company Impress Online. Good to talk to you, Jamie. Hey. Um, how is this different to what Amazon's offered before? Yeah, you know, from a, a product and a technology point of view, it's not actually that big a leap of faith. Uh, Amazon have offered similar services in the past. Amazon Prime, for example, already allows people to download a certain amount of free content or stream a certain amount of free videos. The really significant point about this is that it is based on a monthly subscription like a Spotify or a Netflix model and they're going out there into the market, into the publishing sector and making a really big statement that we can offer this content at a much more cost effective rate. Spotify's revolutionised things for music, Netflix for movies, do you think this is a good thing for customers then? That's a good question. I think from a customer point of view, absolutely. Um, it offers more variety, it brings back a little bit of serendipity, they can be browsing through knowing like as, as if they were in a library. It's like an online bookshelf, isn't it? Absolutely, or, or an old library kind of subscription model where they've paid their ticket, they've got their membership and they can take out whatever they like. But what about real books? <laughs> what, what, about, what about the end to them? Uh, in terms of print and the tangibility of that, there's no question that we are seeing a decline uh, in the take-up of them. As people migrate increasingly online, they're picking up the print copies less. But I always think, especially with long-form book publishing as opposed to news, I always think there'll be a place there for the printed page and, and people like that tangibility of the book. Okay, Jamie, I hope so too. Thank you very much no indeed. That's it from me and the team here on World Business Report. Do stay watching BBC World News from me and the team. Bye-bye.